Hey there, Norman here from WellCode, and today I've got a small widget that I wanted to quickly show to you, the breadcrumbs widget. Now, it may be a small widget, but it packs a big punch for boosting SEO and improving Google indexing, as well as ensuring an even more seamless user experience for site visitors. Breadcrumbs really help Google better understand the structure of your site, and they can even help Google to generate site links that will be displayed under your site in the Google search results. If we quickly jump into a new tab here, we did a search for woke code. We can see here that we have our main link and then below that we have various other links to different pages of our site. These are called site links. Now, while it's not possible to manually create these as Google automatically generates these based off what it believes are the most important pages for the Google search result, our breadcrumbs widget can definitely help Google pinpoint which pages within the site structure should be displayed here. Now, as I mentioned, this widget is pretty basic in its setup, so we're going to quickly jump right into the builder and show you how to set this widget up. Here in the builder, we have our fashion photographer template. Now, the breadcrumbs widget can be placed on any page. However, for maximum usability, you'd want to place it in the header or the footer. This ensures the breadcrumbs will be visible across all pages. Alternatively, if there are only a few individual pages you wish to have the breadcrumbs display, you can just place the widget on those pages specifically. So let's start by creating a new row in the header. We'll go add row below, open our widgets panel on the left side, grab our breadcrumbs widget, drag and drop that into the new row. And as we can see currently, there's only one page being displayed in the breadcrumbs widget. And that's just because we're on the home page. So let's open the pages panel. Let's come into a secondary page. And as we can see here, that breadcrumb is automatically populating with the page structure leading into the current page that we're on. Now you may notice that currently home is the only page highlighted and underlined. That's because it's the only page currently clickable. And that's simply because journal is a folder and folders are not clickable. So now let's jump into the widgets option panel and take a look at how to set this up. In the content tab, we have two options available. We have the home option. This setting enables or disables if the site's home page will be shown within the breadcrumbs. And then we have the current page option. This setting enables or disables if the current page that the user is on will be shown in the breadcrumbs. And below this, we do like to note that the breadcrumbs widget will show the same page hierarchy as the one in the pages panel. And all page types are supported, including dynamic. That's all for the content tab. Now let's head over into the design tab and take a look at how to style this widget. Here in the design tab, you'll find extensive styling options. Now this widget is just basically displaying text. So you'll find all the normal text styling options that you're already used to seeing and working with, with the exception of a few extras, such as changing the divider style and the icon color and size for those dividers. Now, before we close out, I'm just going to grab the preview URL and we're going to take a look at this site and make sure everything's working correctly. So we have our site here. And if we go into one of these sub pages, we can see here that that breadcrumbs widget is displaying the site structure. Great. If we jump into a different one. We can see here, bada bang, bada boom. It's working perfectly. Now there was one final thing I did want to demonstrate very quickly. Currently this journal page is not clickable because it is a folder. So if we jump back into the builder, we open up our pages panel. We grab one of these pages and we just drag and drop it into another page that's not a folder, such as portfolio. We can come back to the preview, refresh it, and then if we go back into, oh, it's right here under portfolio. Now we see here that that page structure is still being shown correctly. However, now the user can click portfolio or home and it'll take them a step backwards to the previous page. And that is it for the breadcrumbs widget. As you can see, it is a very simple widget, yet it packs a very big punch for boosting SEO and ease of navigation throughout the site for the user. That being said, my name is Norman Durkee, and you've been rocking with the best website builder platform on the planet, wocode.com. And until next time, and as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to support. We're always here to help.